Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I will be sharing some tips and tricks to mass produce thank you cards easily and very quickly. I have some time saving hacks and lots of fun bold colors for you. I am using the vintage garden stamp set from my later Simon's stamp August 2022 card kit. It's called vintage garden and has some really fun floral surprises. Check out my previous video where I unboxed all of these fun crafty supplies included in the kit. I will leave a link to that in the description box below. All the bright colors you see on your screen right now are the fun Simon Says Stamp positively saturated inks. I have used four different shades of colors for my cards today. The darkest shade from the trio of inks. Well, before we get started, I would really appreciate if you could take a minute to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time I post a new video. Before we start creating our cards, let's take a look at this beautiful 6x8 stamp set called Vintage Garden. Take a look at all those intrinsic florals and the beautiful little butterflies. The sentiments on these are perfect for so many cards. We could create thank you cards, sympathy cards, and a lot more. The font on these sentiments are simply gorgeous. Well, when I'm opening up a new stamp set, I like to cut the top of the wrapper. This way, I don't have to mess with the sticky opening end of the pocket, which eventually wears off. This way, all I have to do is just pull out my stamp without any hassle. Let's start creating. Well, in my free time, I like to cut a stack of A2 size card panels and note cards using white and black cardstocks. Those are the most used colors. Well, these would be perfect for our project today. I plan to create four cards and since I will have the same design on all of my cards, I will be using the stamping tool for all the stamping. I am using this grit transparency sheet to position my sentiment onto the card panel. All of the card panels are slightly smaller than A2 size card base. I like to have a small border around my cards. You could also turn this into single layer cards. All you have to do is stamp the images directly on the front of your card base. The grid sheet ensures that your stamps, be it any image or a sentiment, is aligned properly onto your card front. I especially like using this uh, with sentiments since I'm not very good at aligning my sentiments in a straight line. I use the transparency sheet if I'm stamping my sentiment. Well, if I'm adhering a sentiment strip on my card front, I prefer using the T-square rulers. Once I'm done with positioning my stamp, I will close the door of my stamping platform and then I will remove the grid sheet before I go ahead and stamp the sentiments as I would usually do. I wanted to use black pigment ink on my sentiments today so uh, that I can heat emboss it. Here I'm using the black pigment ink and well don't forget to use your anti-static powder tool every time you plan on heat embossing. I stamped the thank you sentiment using the black pigment ink on all four panels and poured embossing powder over it all at once. I did one panel at a time. I will not heat fix these panels uh, until I have stamped on all of my card fronts. This again saves a lot of time. Once I'm done with all the stamping and pouring of embossing powder, now I can go ahead and heat fix all the embossing powder one by one. You will notice that after I use my heat gun on the panel, my panels warp a little. All I have to do is place them under some books for a couple of minutes while I go and select the colors for my cards. Here are the Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated inks in the shade Taffy, Sherbet, Pine and Galaxy. These inks can be purchased individually or in packs of 3 or even better get a pack of 15 of these colors. I use the darkest shade in the trio pack. Let's begin with our first card. I'll be using Galaxy to create our background. 
I began by placing the card onto my stamping tool and now we can arrange our border. The floral design from the Vintage Garden stamp set. The good thing about this stamp set is that all of these floral arrangements are perfect if you want to create a border around your card panel or you can also use these as focal points for your card fronts. Once I'm happy with the placement of my stamps on the card panel, I will go ahead and close the door of the stamping tool. We can leave these stamps on the door of the stamping tool until we stamp all of our card fronts at once. I'm using the Galaxy ink to stamp onto our first card panel. These Simon Says Positively Saturated inks are highly pigmented inks and you do not need to stamp again but I wanted a slightly darker image so I went ahead and stamped the image twice. Now before I move on to the next color, I will make sure that my stamp is properly cleaned. Here I am using the Ultra New Stamp Cleaner. Usually if I am stamping and not reusing my stamps, all I do is just pull out the door of the stamping tool and take it to the sink and wash the stamps under some warm water. But now since I will be stamping a couple of times, I will be using the stamp cleaner instead of washing the entire thing just to save time. Moving on to color number 2, I did the same exact technique as the first one. Just one change here, instead of the galaxy ink, I am using the shade of pink called taffy. One addition I made here is the butterfly over my floral image. I added, um, well I forgot to add the butterfly for the galaxy ink background. I will keep the panel aside and do it at the end of all of my cards. Just look at how beautiful and detailed these stamps are and how crisp the colors are. I repeated the same entire thing using pine and sherbet. Before I add the next set of floral image, I thought I would stamp the butterfly. So all I did here is remove the floral images and kept the butterfly as is and stamped it using the galaxy ink. Well at this point, you can leave this panel as is and call the card done. But I wanted to add a few more of those florals, so I took the third image from the stamp set and repeated the whole entire process of stamping with different positively saturated inks on all four panels. Here's a look at the finished card fronts. Now all we have to do is adhere these panels onto A2 size note cards. Just like I have these bunch of cutouts ready to go, I also like to have a, a couple of top folding and side folding card bases in white and black. I use 100 pound card stocks for that. Well, uh, this way I can save time when I'm mass producing cards or even when I'm creating any single project. Here I show you how exactly I create my card bases. I'll be creating top folding note cards for our cards today for which I have four sheets of card panels cut out to the size of 5.5 by 8.5. Once I have all my panels ready, I will go ahead and score each of the note card at 4 one quarter, all at once, and then I will fold the note cards along the score lines. It's now time to assemble our colourful floral card fronts onto these note cards. Like I mentioned before, you could turn these into single layer cards by stamping directly on the card bases or if you choose to stamp on a smaller A2 size panel, just like I did here, you could also just glue the panel and make the card as flat as possible. But with all that beautiful floral and colourful image, I wanted my panel to pop a little. So I used foam tape on all of the panels and adhered them on the note cards for some dimension. Just like all of the previous steps that we have done, the, uh, we colored all the panels all at once, heat embossed everything together. In the same way, I will apply foam tape to all of my panels first and then adhere them all together onto our note cards. Here's a look at the finished cards. I love the detailed patterns and the colors on the card front. Now it's time to work on the envelopes and insides of our card. 
for that i will be using the same floral stamp set and using the second shade from the ink trios i'll be creating floral patterns on our envelopes and the insides of our card once i was done with all of my stamping i went ahead and stuck the inside panels using some tape runner and we can call these cards done for the envelope and the inside panel i am using the inks in the shade of twilight cantaloupe aspen and sweets which is slightly lighter than the previous shades that we used that's galaxy sherbet pine and taffy Here's a look at the finished cards. I love how easy these were to create and mass produce. The bright saturated inks go perfect with the floral stamps. I created four thank you cards in less than 45 minutes. These floral images are perfect for birthday cards, sympathy cards or for even cards that say thinking of you. I had so much fun creating these cards. I hope you had fun watching it too and got inspired. All the supplies can be found linked in the description box below. I hope you had fun watching today's video and got inspired. I would love for you to become a subscriber to my channel and if you do subscribe or are already a subscriber, please make sure to hit the bell icon so that you don't miss the next time I post. Hit the like button and let me know in the comments down below. if you have any ideas or suggestions also if you'd like to share your creations please tag me on instagram at rp_shatterbug there's a link to that in the description box below thank you again for joining me today until next time stay safe